Corey here for another edition of Tuesdays with Corey, and I'm here at a wonderful event that we're setting up to build out templates for the new API. And so I'm here to show you, and I'm actually here with Mahesh, who set up this event and helped design the new API, which we've now announced, a template-based language to be able to deploy compute in Azure. Tell us a little bit about what we're doing here today. Um, we're uh, actually hosting an internal and external event uh, where we have about 200 people who accepted uh, to join us for building out templates and hacks uh, that we that we just announced at Build. Uh, hope you guys found it helpful uh, to build and manage uh, IaaS applications in an easy way on Azure. Um, and looking forward to more contribution from you guys. Very good. Yeah. So we've got a lot of people here doing this hackathon. We're going to go around. We're going to talk to a few people, see what they're working on. And so stay with us here. Hi there. I'm here with Jose Miguel, who's been working diligently all day on a few templates. Tell us a little bit about what you're working on. Sure. So uh, first thing is, um, I'm trying to address people that have been using the old model of doing things and you know make it easier to consume the, the templates. Uh, so I create a little script generator that uh, runs on Azure websites, actually. It's Node.js based. And it will create a script for you that you will then use in your custom script command. We don't want the Azure resource template uh, GitHub repo to you know, become a shell script repo. Mm -hmm. um, so essentially, you're going to be able to push everything on a private um, private website, and then we're going to be able to call it from uh, custom command. And so I've been I've been doing working on several use cases with one VM, multiple VMs, as well as uh, VMs and websites, for example. Um, if you create a VM and a website at the same time in the same template, uh, you can clone the Git repo of the website on the VM, and you now have a depth test scenario. Got it. Where you kind of you can use a VM. It's a Linux-based. Uh, it's all Linux. Side, yeah. Uh, yeah. Right on the on the actual website as well. Got it. So it's all Linux. You're writing in Node. You said. Yep. Yeah. It's uh, Node.js um, yeah. and a lot of shell script. Um, a lot of bash and, script. You know, yeah. Yeah. Bash script. I can see it here. A yeah. couple of things that are going to be also uh, based in Chef. Yep. Uh, so essentially offering options. Uh, very cool. Yep. Very cool. And so this is a you you love the the open source stuff here as part of these. Part of the, yeah, that's that's your that's your gig, huh? Yeah, I think this is real powerful. Yeah. Um, because you can integrate whatever you're using. Any, anything you want. Yeah. Yep. All right. Very good. Thanks for your time. Thank you. All right. We got some more work going on here. Tell us a little bit about what you're working on. So I'm working on a Chef server image template. So you'll be able to deploy a Chef server through this template. That's awesome. And you're doing it. Are you doing that right in the portal experience? Yes, I am. Oh wow. Okay. Very cool. So. A lot of fun stuff right in the portal, and then she'll deploy straight from there. Let's go see a couple other folks. Hi there. We've got Michael Washam here, who's actually a partner who's come in to the event, to the hackathon today, and he's building some things. Tell us a little bit about what you're working on. Hey, guys. Thank you, Corey. I am working on building out some sample code for some upcoming training classes to teach people how to do this stuff once you guys get it up. But it doesn't take a lot of training because it's so easy to use, it's right? Absolutely OK, easy. just making sure about that. Just, just, just in case. Sure OK. So what kind of content? You do training content for both Windows and Linux, so whole, the whole, the whole exactly. range. Yeah? Yeah. Everything. We teach people how to do VMs. We teach people how to do all the PaaS services, Windows VMs, you name it. Got it. And you, a template's going to help you, and can, template's going to help customers? Exactly. Yeah. I mean, right now, they're writing a bunch of code in PowerShell, which is insanely awesome. But <laughs> You is, love PowerShell. I do love PowerShell. <laughs> but this is going to make it just so much a much better experience for getting things automated, removing configuration drift, getting errors out of the way. Yeah. Just absolutely. making it much more scalable to get things out the door. That's great. That's great. And why don't you say the name of your company? Just a little pitch here. Opstility. We're awesome trainers. There you go. All right, let's see a few more. All right, we've got another great one going on here with Mike. And Mike, tell us a little bit about what you're working on. Yeah, so I'm creating a template to create uh, multiple VMs uh, in a resource group, but also be able to pass data between those VMs during the deployment. So got it. Encoding uh, JSON data yeah. that from the template up into each VM so that they'll know what IP addresses their mm. each VM is uh, running on. So it's sort of like a custom data type thing that's passing through. Yes. Very yes. cool. And so when do you think customers, you work a lot with then customers and building things, when do you think that they'd actually use this? Uh, I work with a lot of enterprise customers. Yeah. Deploy um, uh, farm uh, farm systems yeah. that have uh, web tier, business tier, data tier, and they always need to know what's going on when a new VM is spun up. Yeah. They need to notify all the other VMs uh, that that data that, that, uh, exists. Right. Um, and so this will be a way to pass that. Very cool. Very cool. And how are you enjoying the template template experience? Uh, it's been you can fun. be honest. You don't have to. You don't have to say it's great. It's been fun. It's there's been some, fun. Uh, <laughs> there's some there's some hiccups. I think that's what he's trying to say. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We're working on them. All right. Yeah. All right. Good deal. Thanks for your time. Absolutely. Thanks. Hi there. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Tuesdays with Corey, and enjoy the new template language. I want you to keep asking me questions because I will answer them at hashtag 
Azure TWC, and keep, keep it coming. And uh, for this episode, have a good day. Thanks. Come on in, son. Welcome. <laughs> Please. <laughs> you won't be in it. Don't worry. <laughs> All right. Thanks for joining us today on Tuesdays with Corey. I hope you enjoyed our, our walkthrough. Ah, it's more people coming and going. I hope you enjoyed our walkthrough of this hackathon. Uh, it's been great, and I hope you enjoyed the new template language that we uh, talked about and released. And uh, go build some stuff. And so keep asking me questions. I'll keep answering them, and you can check me out on Twitter at pound, hash, excuse me, pound sign. Wow. Hash. <laughs> it is a pound sign, just FYI. Okay? For everyone who's laughing at me.